Hi, I'm Gavin Howie, and welcome to the Technique of the Month. This month, I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous autumn picture using Photoshop Elements. The brilliant thing about this is, it doesn't matter what the autumn weather's doing outside, because you can take these pictures and make this image inside in the warm and dry. So let's begin. We're going to start with a blank, empty canvas to work on, and we'll make that by going to File, New, and Blank File. Now the size is quite important. I want to make my size A4, and we can use the preset feature to make an A4 blank canvas. Click the little down arrow, and choose A4. You can leave everything else exactly as it pops up, click OK, and hey presto, you've got an A4 piece of paper. Let's double click the hand to fit that onto the screen. Now onto my piece of paper, I've got to put some leaves. Now I've photographed lots of leaves. Let's have a look at one. Now i photograph photographed the leaves against a nice bright white background, and that's quite important. To put my leaf onto my blank piece of paper, let's get the Move tool from the toolbar, click anywhere on the leaf, and drag and drop it onto the picture. We can close down the original leaf, we don't need that anymore. And there we have one leaf on a white piece of paper. Not very exciting yet. It gets more exciting when we add more leaves in. So let's bring another leaf up. Let's do the same again, click anywhere on the leaf, and drag and drop it onto our main picture. We can close down the first leaf again. But look at our picture. There's this big white blob over the leaf underneath. So what's going on there? Well, have a look at the Layers palette. Eyes down to the keyboard, F11, and you'll see three layers. We have the white background that we made at the beginning, our first leaf, and above that, the second leaf. Now you can see the white edge of the second leaf, and it cuts across in the image over the first leaf. Now remember I said it was important to have a nice bright white background, and here's why. Because if we change the blend mode from normal, to linear burn, that white will disappear. Instead, we'll be able to see through it as if it was transparent. We can also move the leaf around by using the Move tool. So let's put it round about there. Because if we go in close, let's get the Zoom tool, we can see, not only can we see through the white, but we can see a bit through the leaf as well. And we get this nice kind of blending effect of the two leaves together. But to make the picture a little more dramatic, I'm going to twist this leaf slightly. So let's come up to Image, Transform, and Free Transform. That brings up a little box around the second leaf. If I move my cursor just outside the box, it'll change to a curvy arrow. Now that indicates I'm about to rotate that particular layer. So let's rotate it around. And if I want to move it, just come inside the box and click and drag it into position. When you're happy, click the tick, and that'll make that change permanent. And you can see on the Layers palette, that's twisted the layer around. OK, let's add in some more leaves. Here's another one. Same technique. Change to the Move tool. Drag the leaf on and drop it onto the picture and close down the original leaf. Back to the Layers palette, once again we'll change the layer blend mode from Normal to Linear Burn. Let's move it about by going to Image, Transform, and Free Transform. Now I'm going to twist this one around the other way this time, and pop it up towards the top. Yep, round about there looks good to me. We'll click the tick. OK, so that's three leaves. Let's bring number four in. And drag and drop that onto the picture in the same way. It's so really a matter of repeating the steps. So we'll change from normal to linear burn. And this time I think I just need to move it, just with the move tool. No need to twist it around. That fits perfectly up there. Now the picture is starting to take shape, but I think we need something down in the lower half. 
fortunately I took lots of leaves so here's another leaf picture let's bring that in change the blend mode to linear burn and this one does need rotating image transform free transform and I'm going to tuck that in at the bottom there click the tick to make the change permanent and one more drag it in change the blend mode to linear burn still looks the wrong way up so we'll go to image transform free transform we'll spin that around let's move it back onto the picture that's better nearly lost it off the edge and bring that in like that yeah that looks good to me we'll click the tick now the picture's really taking shape a little gap down here so maybe one more leaf and we'll drag and drop that in change the blend mode to linear burn and turn that one around as well now you can play around with the format the shape and the design endlessly with this and every time you do it you'll come up with a different picture photograph your own leaves and add them in as well and see what beautiful colours, all these lovely autumn colours coming through the picture I'm going to finish the picture off by putting a very thin border all the way around the edge because when you print this off on your printer of course the white is just going to be ordinary paper white so to work out where the edge of the picture goes let's put a thin black key line around the edge of the picture so back to the layers palette F11 if you can't see it and let's flatten the image down so we'll go for more flatten image there you go that's collapsed all the layers down into one single layer to put the black line around the edge first you make sure you have black set as your foreground colour if you don't click the tiny black and white squares to reset it now come up to select and select all that selected the entire picture there you can see little marching ants going around indicating we have a selection now go to edit and choose stroke how much of a border should you put in? Well, that's a good question. Round about 15 to 20 pixels looks about right. The fewer pixels, the thinner the border. The more pixels, the thicker the border. It's personal taste. I'm going to put in 15 pixels and make sure that the location is set to inside. And we'll click OK. Select and deselect. And if we zoom in nice and tight, there you can see the little thin black key line border running all the way around the edge of the picture and that completes that particular autumn picture but if you want to try something a little bit different try this instead of having a, a white picture try photographing your leaves against a black background and right at the beginning when we made our white empty canvas fill it with black to get the black background. Now the technique is ever so slightly different. Let's open a leaf and add that in as well. So here's a leaf photographed against a black background. Adding it in is exactly the same. We'll get the move tool, drag and drop the leaf onto the middle, round about there. And just like before, it obscures the leaves underneath. But just like before, it's free floating so we can move it. Open the layers palette that's F11 on the keyboard and you'll notice that once again you have a leaf on its own layer just like before but this time change the blend mode not to linear burn but to screen now screen will make anything black disappear but I find with this technique if you're using the screen you just need to drop the opacity just a little bit down to about 85 to 80 percent somewhere in that area and that should give you that nice transparency that we had before then build up the leaf effect exactly as you did last time round I think we'll just move that down like so and there you go two great autumn leaf ideas in one tutorial now there's value for money